Okay, this is it. The one video you need to watch if you're new to MIDI controlling effects with the Morningstar MIDI controller. Through the years, we've dedicated ourselves to making this process as intuitive and enjoyable as possible. And while most of you seem to agree, we totally get that there are new users who may need some help, and also potential users who are curious about the Morningstar MIDI workflow. By the end of this video, you will be able to perform the two basic functions you would want when MIDI controlling your pedals, and that's recalling presets and controlling specific effect functions or parameters. I have three effect pedals here today, and they are all going to be controlled simultaneously with the MC6 Pro. We're going to start easy though, and begin with controlling just one pedal before moving on to the rest. Let's begin with an amazing pedal, the Maris LVX. To begin programming your MIDI controller, connect it to your computer with the included USB cable. Here we have the MT6 Pro's MIDI out connected to the LVX MIDI in with the MIDI cable. Open Chrome browser and navigate to the Morningstar MIDI editor. The first time you do this, you can find the editor through our website. Once you've accessed it, add the editor to your bookmarks so that you can open it quickly in future. When prompted to allow MIDI communication, click on Allow, this setting can also be accessed anytime by clicking on the icon to the left of the URL. If you wish to download the editor for offline use, you can easily do so by clicking on the download button in the search bar. This will download the editor as a Chrome application and allow you to use it even without an internet connection. On the start page of the editor, you'll see your controller ready for connection on the top row. If you don't see any connections available, click on refresh list and you will see it appear. You can ignore the other rows as they are for more complex use cases, which do not concern us today. Just click connect on the top row to start editing. Once connected, you'll see all your MIDI controller banks listed in the left column and the presets contained within each bank displayed in the right column. When you receive your Morningstar controller, it is completely empty with no presets programmed. A blank canvas for you to create the ideal workflow for your needs. While that does mean some setting up is required, this gives you complete control over the layout of your MIDI controller and how your banks and presets are organized. Every switch within every bank can be whatever you want it to be with no restrictions. Let's get started with programming the first switch on your Morningstar controller. For this first switch, we'll start with something very simple. We are going to use switch A in bank 1 to send a program change message to recall the preset on the LVX. This is one of the basic but main users of a pedal board MIDI controller. By sending a program change message to your pedal, you can recall any preset on it anytime, regardless of which preset is currently active on the pedal. To start programming switch A in bank 1, select bank 1 in the left column and preset A in the right column. You'll see a long list of empty message slots. These are the MIDI messages you can send with one switch preset. For this first example, we only need to use one message. First, select the action you would like to use to send the message. In this case, we want to switch press to recall the LVX preset. So let's select that. Then for type, select PC message. You'll see the PC message options appear. The first is PC number. This determines which preset gets recalled on the receiving device. Presets and PC numbers correspond with each other in running order. On the LVX, you'll see that presets have numbers starting from 1 and up. For this example, let's recall preset 15, which is echo cassette. Since it's preset 15, we need to send PC number 15 to recall it. So let's select that. The next option lets you decide if you want to send this message on all MIDI channels or only on a specific channel. Typically, you should send messages on specific MIDI channels so they do not affect other pedals that they are not intended for. So we'll leave that as no. Lastly, we have MIDI channel which should match the MIDI channel that you have set your receiving device to. In this case, we have the LVX set on MIDI channel 1, so we should have channel 1 selected here too. You should also name your switch, so you know what function it performs. In this case, it recalls the Echo Cassette preset, so let's name it Echo Cassette. With all that done, click Save Preset, and your switch will now recall your desired preset on the receiving device. Let's scroll to a random preset on the LVX and press our MC6 Pro switch. Nice. You can see that we can recall the echo cassette preset regardless of which preset we are at on the LVX. Without a MIDI controller, that would not be possible. You'd have to bank up or down to get to the preset that you want. And if the current preset you're on is far away from the preset that you want, that is going to take you quite a long time to get to your desired preset. Well, with a MIDI controller, you can just hit this and you get to the preset that you want instantly. Here's a little tip. If you shorten the preset name, you can have it appear larger but with less characters. So that is how you recall a preset on a pedal using MIDI. 
but of course you probably have more than one effect pedal and want to recall multiple presets from different pedals at the same time. That brings us to the next part of the video, recalling presets on multiple pedals with a single switch press. This is actually super simple. Having learned how to recall a preset on one pedal, you can now recall presets on the other pedals using the same method too. Here I have three pedals and the controller connected via MIDI. If you don't know how to connect your pedals yet, check out our MIDI connections video linked below. Now let's use the same switch to recall presets on all three pedals at once. To do that, we just have to add two more messages to the switch preset, one for the Big Sky and one for the HX Stomp. These are done exactly the same way as we did with the LVX, just with different PC numbers and different MIDI channels. I have the Big Sky set to MIDI channel 2 and the HX Stomp on channel 3 so be sure to select the MIDI channel that matches each receiving device. We know that it can be quite challenging to remember which MIDI channel each of your pedals is set to. Good news though, with the Morningstar editor, that is a thing of the past. Right now, you'll see that MIDI channels are all blank without any information. Let's fix that. Click on the controller settings tab and name each of your MIDI channels under Edit MIDI Channel Settings. If I go ahead and name each of the MIDI channels according to what I have each pedal set to, hit Save Settings and go back to the Edit Preset tab, MIDI channels now all have the names of their respective pedals. This will be saved and displayed every time you connect your controller to the editor. Super handy. So now that we have three different PC messages going to each of the different pedals, let's rename this switch LHX Sky. Sky. Wow. And when I press this switch, you'll see a combination of different presets being recalled across all three pedals. Let me mess them up a bit now and then press the MC6 Pro switch and right away we have the same combination of presets active in an instant. That's it for recalling presets. Now let's move on to the second part of this video, which is about controlling specific functions and parameters on your pedals. CC messages let you control specific settings on each of your pedals. For example, you can set the bypass state of each pedal so that they are either engaged or bypassed or you can also control different effect parameters. That would be the equivalent of turning a knob to a certain position, but doing so with the tap of your foot. CC messages also allow you to trigger particular functions such as record and playback on a looper, for example. Let's start with a simple use case, and that is controlling the bypass state of an effect pedal. Although this is something simple, it needs to be done quite often. Anytime you want to exclude an effect from a preset, you need to send a message to bypass the effect. We'll do this with the Big Sky right now. Let's use a different switch for this, Switch B. Select Switch B from the right column and we can begin. Once again, select a press action for the first message, then for type, select CC message. The first field is CC number. This determines which parameter or function you target on the receiving device. Now how do we know what CC number to send to control the Big Sky's bypass state? Typically, you'd have to refer to the Big Sky manual to check what CC number you need to send. Thankfully, with the Morningstar MIDI controller, there is no more need for that. Simply click on Open MIDI Dictionary and select the brand and model of the device that you want to control. Then choose the parameter or function you want. In our case right now, that's Bypass. So let's select that and click Apply. The correct CC number immediately gets filled in. Next, we have CC Value. This determines how we affect the targeted parameter or function. In this case, a value of 0 bypasses the big sky, while a value of 127 will engage it. But for now, we want to bypass the big sky, so let's change it back to 0. Name our switch Bypass Big Sky, hit Save, and we're good to go. Now we have a switch that bypasses the big sky in an instant. Now let's say we no longer want the Big Sky to be engaged in the preset we previously programmed on switch A, LHX Sky. We can easily do that by replacing the PC message for the Big Sky with the Big Sky Bypass message. And there is a really easy way to do this. Going back to the Bypass Switch preset, you can copy a message by clicking on the Copy button next to it. Then go back to switch A and paste it over message 2, which was our PC message to the Big Sky. Let's remove Sky from this switch's name and click Save. Now if I go to some random presets on each of these pedals, then hit Switch A, you'll see that the same two presets from before on the LVX and HX Stomp get recalled, while the Big Sky gets bypassed, which is exactly what we have programmed to happen. If you like this video, do remember to like it, and also subscribe to our channel if you're interested in this kind of content. There is so much more that you can do. For example, what if you wanted to toggle a pedal on and off with just a single switch, and have the screen reflect its bypass state? 
You can easily do that too, just watch the toggle mode video linked down below. And what about controlling tempo using MIDI? You can also do that, just watch our MIDI and tempo video linked down below too. Lastly, if you are interested in a more in-depth explanation of MIDI, the Absolute Beginner's Guide to Pedalboard MIDI is just for you, also linked down below. I hope you found today's video useful and as always keep making music and we'll catch you again in the next video.